Hey guys, it's Pelly. If you're watching this, I hope you're having a great day. Before we begin, I really want to send a positive vibe your way and just know whatever you're going through, you're not alone and we got this. Let's connect through fashion. In this video, we will discuss the 1970s fashion that's making a not so sneaky comeback. Let's begin. The 1970s fashion was actually all about trends. With dress code becoming less strict, it was a time of change and expression. Many fashion rules were thrown out, giving people time to explore their individuality and sense of style. It's actually not surprising that the 70s are coming back in fashion. The 90s was inspired by the 70s, and we had a 90s moment in the 2010s. If we follow the 20 year rule, the rule that basically states that whatever popular now will be popular in 20 years or so, it all makes sense because the early 2000s took from the 90s, but that being said, it's also because we are seeing a nostalgia craze for the 70s. Seventy Street Style took over 2020 Parents Fashion Week earlier this year. One year before, Zendaya and Tommy Hilfiger collaborated on a collection together for spring 2019 and later followed up with the fall 2019 that had major 70s influence. Victoria Beckham's spring-summer 2020 collection was inspired by the 70s and Celine fall 2020 collection was absolutely a homage to the 70s. By only looking at these runway show, we can already see some of the major trends from the 70s. Zendaya and Tommy Hilfiger is all about the pantsuit and jumpsuit. Victoria Beckham takes on the effortless trend along with the turtleneck and knitwear trend. And just like the people of the 70s, it's all about comfort casual to Celine. Off the runway, there is a new FX TV show called Miss America that's set in the 70s and the new movie Cruella starring Emma Stone is confirmed to be set in the 70s as well. Their 2019 movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood costume has many 70s quality and the new Suicide Squad movie is described to be like a 70s war movie. Beside movies and TV show, there is a new disco revival in music. Dua Lipa, Doja Cat, and Harry Styles are all popular artists who have dropped disco-inspired music, leading other artists to do the same. Basically, we are here in the 70s. So everything is coming together. Since we know the 1970s is coming back, let's now discuss the possible trend that likely will make a comeback. Bell bottoms. When you think 70s fashion, you think bell bottoms. This style of pants is usually tight around the thigh and flare from the knees down. It was very popular among everyone no matter the gender. During the late 90s and early 2000s, the bell bottoms flare became less dramatic and was reintroduced to the public as boot cut. 2020 has already become obsessed with bell bottoms. Whether it's jeans or leggings, it's really all about the flare. Now, I think bell bottoms are very tricky and you have to be careful styling them. I used to think it was hideous overall when I was younger, but my fashion taste palette has developed and I can actually see the appeal. Wearing boots or a high increase in shoe with these kind of pants is the best. I've been seeing so many platform shoes and sneakers on social media lately. People are obsessed with platform shoes. These high increase in shoes were so important in the 70s because it was a form of liberation. They celebrated their sexuality with their many different styles and design. They demanded attention and the present convey confidence. Now, they were all trends during the 2010s and it seems like it's coming back. Platform shoes have always been daunting for me because of their size. But as time goes on, I'm getting used to the style and I might just try it one day. Will you be sporting any of these items? Speaking of shoe, this Netherlands creation was a beloved fad in the 70s. Clogs are a type of footwear made partly or completely out of wood. Just like everything these days, Clogs received a 2020 reboot and this reboot might just become an another successful trend. Clog in 2020 looks sleeker and could really be styled with anything. I can already tell this might not be for everyone, I really don't have an opinion on it. The only thing I really have to say is that they look heavy, so please tell me your opinion down in the comments, but overall, clogs are so 70s. 
A pantsuit consists of a matching jacket and pants, and it's basically a tuxedo. Pantsuit became popular during the 60s, but the 70s celebrated women's individuality with it. During this time, the women liberation movement in the 70s fought for equal rights and opportunities. Women would wear pantsuit in the workplace to be taken seriously. The Mary Tyler Moore Show was an important show. It was about a single independent woman who was career driven. Her fashion on the show influenced so many regular women and the show itself was ahead of its time being a representation for women. The Annie Hall outfit in the 1977 movie was so impactful, even today you can see the influence. In 2020, there are so many styles of pantsuit and while it's becoming more normalized today, it was really important for women in the 70s. Corduroy. Both denim and polyester were major textile in the 70s, but they couldn't be corduroy. Corduroy is a textile with a prominent ridge pattern and was used in almost everything, from skirt to dresses, but this durable cloth is best for pants and jackets. The corduroy pant was a major deal back in the day and will rival with the denim jeans again. I think it's so versatile, you have that casual look while looking chic, so you have to own something corduroy soon if you haven't already. The 70s really embraced so many different designs from a lot of places. Some popular trends were floral, paisley, psychedelic, stripe, checker, and plaid. Popular symbols include the peace sign and smiley face. The 70s loved their outlandish prints and pattern. Patchwork back in the 70s most likely took inspiration from the 60s hippie. But for 2020, the trend is more likely because of the recent sustainability discussion that is happening in fashion. Many designers have shown look from their collection that was made from leftover fabric. Sustainability has become a very hot topic in fashion these days due to pollution. What do you think about this trend? Flower Power Stevie Nicks is an iconic singer from the band Fleetwood Mac. Besides being known for her music, she was also known for her fashion. She had this gypsy style that so many people were obsessed with. The gypsy trend took off because of the prominent bohemian and hippie influence. It was all about loose and light clothing. Some of the trends are crochet, headscarf, culture neckline, hippie hat, embroidery, bell sleeves, peasant blouse, and peasant skirts. And I feel like the Western trend at that time will go hand in hand with the gypsy boho trend now. Expect to see French make a comeback. This trend is all about being free spirited like the 70s. I definitely will be adding some sort of boho style to my collection. Saturday Night Fever made disco popular not just in America but all over the world. The music is one thing but fashion is another. When you think of disco, you think of the glitter and sparkle like the disco ball. John Travolta, white collar and open shirt outfit in the movie has become synonymous with 70s disco. The Soul Train TV show which premiered in 1971 was representation for African American and celebrated funk music and fashion. Both disco and funk was about being elaborate and fun no matter the gender. And it all went down at Studio 54. Studio 54 was a nightclub in New York City that is described as the hottest party in the world. Some trends were jumpsuits, hot pants, metallic dresses, groovy shirts, high-waisted pants, sequin, disco pants, go-go boots, sparkle, and glitter. One thing I really love about 70s fashion is how unisex so many things were. There are obviously so many other trends from the 70s that might come back. I just wanted to mention some of them and how it might relate to our time. I really love fashion history and this is what my channel is all about. I can list trends one by one but I think knowing a little history about them can help us grow and stay aware of our current culture and even personal style. So this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said earlier in the video, you're not alone. And whatever you're going through, you got this. We got this. Thanks again for watching. Comment any question or correction. Like and subscribe for more fashion topic video. Have a great day. Bye.